the name itself says that consignor means what owner consignee means what agent will i give my sales directly no i'll take documents i'll take advance from that person that is called your bills receivable account the relationship between consignor and consignee is called as consignment or uh, the agreement between consignor and consignee we call it as consignment account a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with us from first grade college the temple of excellence now we are discussing your unit 3 called your consignment under financial accounting one we are discussing topic called consignment now consignment more than a problem we have to understand the concept i'll explain you what is consignment before we get into the problem so we have to learn the format of consignment there will be account called consignment account consignor account as well as consignee consignment consignor consignee now in this we have word called consignor and we have word called consignee so who is consignor and who is consignee the name itself says that consignor means what owner consignee means what agent now the relationship the agreement between two persons like consignor and consignee we call it as consignment account hope you understood your two marks question will be this one what do you mean by consignment account the relationship between consignor and consignee is called as consignment uh, the agreement between consignor and consignee we call it as consignment account now what is the use of consignment i'll give you a simple example for example i am a manufacturer of sari i am a manufacturer of what sari now i have manufactured almost 1000 sarees now where i am located assume that i am located in mysore now can i sell all 1000 sarees in the mysore itself impossible so there are many competitors are there there are many shops are there there are many they are doing their sari business since almost 30 to 40 years being a newcomer i cannot sell all the 1000 sarees in a single city what i will do i'll enquire the agent i'll hire the agent i'll hire one agent in bangalore i hire one agent in mangalore i hire one agent in hubli darwar like that i'll take 10 to 15 cities each city i'll give 100 sarees so i'll take total 10 cities each city i'll hire i'll appoint one agent the agent will be given what 100 sarees each how many agents i got for 10 cities 10 agent each agent how much sari he will take 100 sari now what is the agreement between me myself and that agent very simple the agent has to sell my sarees hope you are clear i'll come again the agent has to sell my sarees at whatever price i told him for example each sari cost 800 i'll tell him i have given you 100 sarees you have to sell it for 800 hope you are clear yes now so the job or work of that person is very simple he has to sell my sarees now yes he sold all my sarees what is the next procedure yes what he has to do is whatever sarees he sold whatever amount he collected that 80000 20000 or whatever he has to give it back what is the use i manufactured sell sold by whom agent he is a third person and at a time of sales does it require any expenses yes transportation expenses advertisement expenses storage expenses marketing expenses everything will be spent by whom everything will be sent spent by agent whatever he spent that will be given back by whom owner hope you are clear yes you are understanding now 
the consignment means what it is an agreement between two or more person it is like agreement between consignor and consignee who is the consignor owner who is the consignee agent what is the agreement the agent has to sell my product at the price given by me once he sold whatever price he collected he has to return it back hope you are clear while giving me back what he has to do for example he has sold everything for 50000 and out of 100 sarees he sold around 80 sarees balance 20 sarees are unsold i have given him one month time after one month what he is supposed to do 50000 he collected from customer yes now whatever expenses spent by him for example he spent 1000 for transportation 500 for advertisement 1000 for storage all put together he spent 4000 5 minus 4 he has to give me how much 46 along with 46 i agreed him i give you 10% commission whatever the work he is doing he is doing for what reason for commission purpose whatever is sold for 50000 i already agreed that i'll give you how much 10% commission now i am giving him what 10% commission of 5000 this also he will minus 46 minus 5 41000 he will return me only 41000 hope you are clear so what is his job he has to sell my sarees He sold the sarees. Yes. At what price? Fifty thousand. What is his expenses? Four thousand. Fifty minus four. How much? Forty six. What is his commission? Five thousand. Forty six minus five is how much? Forty one thousand. Now he has to pay me how much? Forty one thousand along with twenty sarees unsold. He has to return me. Hope you are clear. This process we call it as what? account sales very important account sales your theory part very important this we call it as what account sales hope you are clear yes this part we call it as account sales all these procedure like calculating deducting the commission deduct the expenses these are the part we call it as account sales now so we understood what is consignment we understood who is consignor who is consignee and finally we understood what is consignment or account sales clear in this they will get a commission called ordinary commission ordinary commission del creditor commission del creditor commission what is this ordinary commission and del creditor commission very simple ordinary commission means what whatever he sold i'll give you 10% done that is ordinary commission along with that whatever unsold is there what is sold on credit basis all the responsibility the consignor should take then he will get additional responsibility and additional income that additional income we call it as del creditor commission hope you are clear what is the del creditor commission if the consignee agreed to take responsibility of credit sales then he will be provided with additional commission that is called as del creditor commission hope you are clear yes so you are supposed to prepare consignment account simple one will not do problem i'll explain you all the concept here goods sent to consignment how much goods given by owner to agent bank account all the expenses made by owner consignee all the expenses made by agent track reserve this is nothing but your expenses may including commission also included now after that come to credit side consignee whatever sales made all the losses any losses happened we have to consider accidental losses then any closing stock unsold i told you know 20 sarees are not sold unsold sarees will come here 
goods sent on consignment, any reserves are there, then we are supposed to take. This is all about your calculation and your answer will be end will end with profit. Then your consignee account. Consignee means what agent? Agent, how much he sold? What is the expense advance he paid? See, I have a 10 customers as I told you, sorry, 10 agents as I told you. Will I give my salaries directly? No, I'll take documents. I'll get advance from that person. That is called your bills receivable account. Consignment expenses. Consignment expenses like commission. The remaining will be called as bank account. This is what we call it as what? Account sales. This is what we call it as what? Account sales. Once you're done with your account sales, the last one is accidental loss or abnormal loss. To consignment place, whatever happened, whatever insurance company has given, the remaining will be called as abnormal loss or else we call it as accidental loss. So this is the last one, goods sent on consignment. This is a part of your question. Whatever you have done, like consignor to consignee, whatever goods transfer, that we will consider under goods sent on branch. Your problem, we will not do this problem, we will not solve this, but we will understand this problem. Now, in this, Mayuri Bicycle Company, Mysore, consigned 1,500 bicycles, Bangalore, to sold on consignment basis. The cost of each bicycle, 1,800, but invoice price is 2,160. Always go with 2,160 invoice price. In the working note, cost price. In the table, invoice price. How much it is? 2160. How many bicycle? 1500. 1500 into 2160. This is what I'll go back. Goods sent on consignment. Hope you are clear. How much you will take? 1500 into 2160. This is what your goods sent on consignment. Then, out of which during the transit, 10 bicycles were damaged in the accident. Insurance company paid 80%. I'll go back to your accidental account. See, how much damaged? How much insurance company has given? What is your actual loss? Hope you are clear. Now, I'll go back. Baswa Cycle Mart received the consignment and spent 100 per bicycle for freight and entry tax. They accepted a bill drawn by Mayuri Cycle, 1 lakh as advance. So advance, where do you take? I'll show you. Here you take your advance. Whatever your one lakh is given, that has to be taken as advance. Then Baswa Cycle Mart spent one lakh forty thousand as sales expenses. The sales expenses you have to show that advertisement. They sold eight hundred bicycle at two thousand three hundred each on cash and four hundred bicycle, two thousand five hundred on credit basis. They are entitled to ten percent commission. I told you now the agent work on the base of what? Commission. Now, total sales is 2%. Del Crater commission. Not only he is getting normal commission, he is taking extra Del Crater commission. They settled final balance due on consignor by sending bank draft. Prepare necessary ledger account in the books of consignor. This is all we have in this question. Hope you are clear. You understood the concept. You understood the question. Please try this. And for this answer, I have given in the notes. Please work out. There are five to six problems with solutions you have. So problem and solution easily you can understand. But concept, somebody should explain you. I explained you what is consignment and a concept. Please work out which is there in your notes. Now, I'll go back to all the slides here so that you can take screenshot. First one, your consignment account format, your consignee account, accidental loss account, goods sent on consignment, problem on consignment. This is all about your consignment. Hope you understood what do you mean by consignment account. Please work out on this. As I told you, the question with solutions are there in the notes. Work out. Thank you.